the thing with Jaws is it's like, to be like everywhere else will be maybe 15 footers coming in. Up there, like a 25 footer will come in. It'll be like 10 feet, even 15 feet bigger than anywhere else. There's so much energy and, and mass and magnitude to that wave that uh, it can pretty much do to you what it wants to do. If you're in the right spot at the right time, you're gonna probably get the most memorable, best barrel, best ride of your life. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> wow. right. The ocean has given me so much. It is my greatest provider. I can't imagine my life without the ocean. I would go absolutely nuts. It's 5.47. Sun is like kind of going at 6.30. I think I five sports in the back of my truck right now. If the paddling doesn't go, I'll have the tow gear. If it gets windy, I'll be able to windsurf for kite. Um, so basically, uh, I'm doing something today. It's a weird thing being able to hear the waves but not see it yet. So it's like, okay, get your head straight. Because you don't want to ever get up there stressed. That's like the last thing you want to happen. <laughs> It's crazy to come down here and you know see the chaos because it's like every little team has their game plan for the day but when when you get down here and you know the waves are rolling in you kind of just got to roll with the situation at the time the best guys in the world are here the waves are big and um gonna just check it out and hopefully uh it'll all work out Yahi, you know, that place has eyes. You know, the feeling I get up there is like as if the spot is, you know, watching. I've been up to Jaws quite a few times. The first time I rode was 16 years old. And, um, you know, I'm 19 now. You know, the first time going out there, you're scared, but you're not as scared as you become later on. Because now I'd say I'm probably more nervous and scared about going out to Jaws because I already know what the wave is capable of. Paddling in the Jaws is actually not a new thing. You know, guys have been doing it for quite some time, but I think the difference between then and now is the level at which they're paddling is so much larger than anything prior to. It, it, it's just off the charts how committed you've got to be to catch one of those waves. 